Hi, welcome to the show. You made it back. So did I. We're all here, and guess what we're doing today? We are doing another meal brought to us by Green Chef. This is going to be chickpea and red pepper bulgur bowls. I love these bowls. We had one last week. And so, uh, like we do every time we start the show, we give compliments to Mimi's Kitchen. Mimi Rogers Design did this kitchen. PC Works by Rogers and the Personal Choices Network allowed me to produce this show. So as we have already done the hard part, we had to get it out of the box last week. Here's what we're going to do today. So this is, this is almost like going shopping, but it's just given to us. Looks like kale. Oh yeah, my red peppers are already diced up and ready to go. Looks like I've got roasted red pepper hummus. And then I've got organic uh, grape tomatoes. And I got more pepper hummus. We got a lemon. We've got scallion. And oh yeah, there is my wheat burgle. And then I've got some Mediterranean spice. My chickpea. And then I got more seasoning. This is Shuga. S C H U G sauce. Sugar. <laughs> okay. I got a little bit of vegetable stock. And then I've got the grapes. And so that is what we're making today. Is this going to be exciting? And so let's just jump right into the instructions. Preheat the oven for 425. Uh, I also bring the bulgur wheat, one cup of water, uh, vegetable stock concentrate, and the roasted red peppers to a boil in a small pot. Reduce heat to medium and, and simmer and let the water get absorbed till the tender, 12 to 15 minutes. And so we'll get that started. We'll get a small pot going. Uh, we'll get to use Mimi's beautiful pot filler and uh, we'll get that water started and then we'll jump into segment two. We'll be right back. Thank you for joining me. Okay, I think I've got it all together. I've got my roasted red peppers in a bowl, my bulgur wheat. We're going to go over here and we're going to fill up with the pot filler just a cup of water. And my roasted peppers. My vegetable stock. And my wheat. And we'll bring that to a boil. Wasn't that easy. So uh, next I have to get my chickpeas uh, out of the container. They come in a box. Kind of nice. I'm using they're organic. I've got something I get out of a can. But uh, put this in and rinse them thoroughly. Drizzle some a cookie sheet out. And so we'll get ready. Get my cabazzo beans rinsed. And we'll start back with the next segment. Here we go. We're having fun now. Okay, well, I've got my gabonzo beans wrenched. Uh, my uh, bulgur wheat came to a boil, and so I put it on summer and put a lid on it. And uh, now I get a little bit of cooking oil. Because what it says to do. Uh, it says, um, uh, drizzle enough cooking oil to coat uh, about a teaspoon and then add a Mediterranean seasoned blend uh, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper. And then uh, finally uh, reserve the remaining Mediterranean spice blend for another use. 
So the Mediterranean Spice Blend, I'm supposed to use half of this. Okay. Okay, there we go. So there's a little bit of oil. Half of this blend. Alright. Very precise measurements there. They want salt and pepper. Isn't this fun? Almost feels like a real cooking show. And we get to stir this together. Did I miss anything? Mediterranean Spice Blend. No, but I don't get to use the Sunga sauce yet. Okay, so I've got that stirred together. I'm going to spread the chickpeas on a light layer. It says a foil lined baking pan roast for 18 to 22 minutes. I love my stick free cooking pan. It saves a lot of foil. It's really easy to clean too. So I'm going to spread my chickpea interesting oh this actually smells wonderful okay huh I wonder what's in that seasoning that's going to be our next version of cooking we're going to figure out what all these special blends and seasons are <laughs> or, or maybe when you write in you can tell me what's in the seasoning blend so this goes in the oven 18 22 minutes all right we'll have that turned off and then we'll come right back okay so we got a little bit of modest uh, food preparation to do with this meal so i'm gonna Grape, my grape. I'm gonna half, half my grape tomatoes. I'm gonna grape my halves. Yeah, I don't think so. I can't even get the container open. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we got a little bit of food prep to do right here. And I might want to choose a better weapon for these little guys. Have a nice little knife. Much better. Oh, I've got my tomatoes growing in the garden. Today's a heat wave. I hope they survive. Ooh, got some squirts out of a few of these. Boy, some of them are going to be smarter. Going to have to wash my shirt. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my PC Works LLC apron on. I don't have one. Sant Hint sponsors. We have a busy busy apron for our store in Round Top, Texas. Bazoo bazoo. Kiss kiss in French. And there we go. Finally, all those tomatoes. Yum yum. Okay, a little bit more preparation. 
the kale. There you go. I got some big old kale. I, I know what you're going to eat that. <laughs> A little bit of preparation on the kale. They, they, they suggest that you cut out these veins. I like their thinking. Cause that's always the tough part. There you go. Got a little bit of soft stuff down here. Okay, there's there's a big old stock right there I gotta get rid of. And as I was doing spinach yesterday, I thought to myself, why don't we just use these scissors? Well, not with kale. <laughs> We're going back to the knife with kale. Uh, a little tougher variety product. So we're supposed to get this cow down to manageable bites. Which means I'm going to dice. I went one way and now I'm going to go the other way. Okay, there we go. Now I'm supposed to make my salad dressing. So very scientific. Oil. Again, salt and pepper. Now, this is it call for a sweetener? And rather than saying use sugar, these instructions are nice enough to say the sweetener of your choice. And so I use the mock fruit sweetener. And we get that and whisk that together. And then we massage in the kale. But before I massage in the kale, I'm going to zest my lemon. Anybody not know what zest a lemon means? I didn't. <laughs> Until I started to put this show together, one of my instructions way back when was zest a lemon. I don't even know how to do that. And so the lemon zest goes in my salad and I massage in the oil in with the kale and the sugar okay wasn't that fun I'm going to go wash my hands after that. Okay, let's see. I also have to half my uh, grapes, right? Do I half my, roughly chop my olives? Yeah. I'm done with that roughly chop 
to my olive. them roughly chopped and we get to put them in our salad at appropriate time okay so as we're coming together I zested my lemon I'm supposed to half or half those and squeeze them as I'm putting this together so I might as well half those right now And that way they're ready to squeeze. Easy. Uh, okay. And actually that lemon juice gets squeezed in with the kale right now. Make sure I don't have a seed that popped in there. makes that really good smell. Uh, okay, whisk that together, uh, massage the man, did all that. Oh, let's see, I have a scallion to slice, yes. So let me get my surface prepared here. Everything nicely organic scallion. So we'll get rid of the stock. We don't want all of the yellow. Okay. Well. Uh huh. And so before long, that's all the preparation I have. The rest comes with final assembly. So we get to wait on the chickpeas to come out. We're waiting for Alexa to answer me what time it's going to be. And uh, we shall resume the show. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty and the gritty. This is the best part because, well, actually, the best part's going to be eating this dish. Boy, this is going to look good. So, uh, with my kale, I'm supposed to add my tomatoes and my scallions and my olives. Stir them all up as well. And then I get to evenly divide this into my two meals. Which all the tomatoes landed on the bottom. That's okay, they land on the top now. Okay. Very nice.
and the bulgur wheat. Boy, that come out nice. Okay, and then okay, that's got that half and half. What does that look yummy? And now the chickpeas. Lightly toasted. Boy, these are wonderful. Yes. So I love that pan. And now we have some hummus. Now we're supposed to be able to drizzle. It's a little too thick for drizzling. But for presentation, it's supposed to look just like that. So let's get a close-up shot of what's for dinner tonight. Because, huh, you made it right here with me. Chickpea, red pepper, booger bowl. There you go. <laughs> Who would have thought we would have done that together? Well, I guess that's the purpose of the show. If, if we couldn't do it, <laughs> I have to hire some other IT guy, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we're going to enjoy this dinner and come back next time here in Mimi's Kitchen with the PC Works LLC producing and the Personal Choices Network cooking with Kurt. Thank you for joining.